Hey there, so we actually had a little bit of mishap uh, with the whiskey. And I've, I've actually only just taken a couple sips, but anyway, we've returned and I've gone through a few resources. And the first one is actually um, the Straight Up Buffalo Trace website and also Whiskey Vault. Highly recommend their YouTube channel. Um, they're actually part of the team or you know one of them is a level three whiskey sum. So there's actually a, in whiskey, a Cicerone slash sommelier kind of uh, system in there. That's really exciting and uh, really great to uh, watch reviews from extremely knowledgeable people. But so on the uh, Buffalo Trace website, they say on the aroma of vanilla mint molasses. And this is when you start searching for these words and you don't have to necessarily agree. I can see the green kind of minty thing, but, and the vanilla, but not really molasses. Cheers. On the palate, they say brown sugar, spice, oak, toffee, dark fruit, anise. Um, not as much sweetness as they say with the brown sugar and toffee. For sure, the spice and the uh, anise really show uh, for me. Um, some toffee sweetness, yeah. And then they say it has a seriously uh, long and, and the depth is really on the finish, which is perceivable that it, it sort of lingers on the palate. So Whiskey Vault, they say that this is a little bit more spicy from the rye. And then that it, on the aroma, it has this cherry apple biscuit kind of thing. And I can certainly see that, you know, just the baking spices, apple, cherry, actually not even straight cherry. Uh, think of maraschino liqueur, which is made of the seeds and the, and the, bar, uh, of the, um, the leaves and the stems of cherries and really has an interesting nuttiness of uh, cherry flavor. So that's what I'm getting instead of really sweet um, dark cherries or maraschino cherries. On the palate, they say it has this kind of aged rum quality, uh, which you can maybe see, but then again, it's just aged stuff. Uh, you're certainly gonna get the vanilla, the oak, those kind of rounded sweet toffee notes. Um, but they say it also has this kind of chocolate covered espresso bean kind of thing going on. And, huh. As I look around, I can maybe see a little bit of this like really dark chocolate cacao kind of thing coming through. Um, maybe some of that kind of cocoa bitterness, but not really too much coffee flavor uh, in my perception. But then again, they're the experts that really um, have attached, you know, better vocabulary to what they're tasting. So if you guys are experts on whiskey, please post in the comments below. Um, it's really exciting to get into this because honestly, if you guys, I'm assuming you're watching this because you're beer aficionados and uh, into beer, please explore um, different avenues of using your palate because uh, I will say honestly in the past four years of learning a palate uh, through beer it has definitely grown my palate for food and, and your ability to offer vocabulary and descriptors and really connect what you're tasting is so useful you know with uh, bartending and cocktailing now that I've started that it was so much easier getting into it it's only been a few months but getting into it is so much easier because now you're tasting your cocktails and I could tell you where you're uh, sweet and sour balance is not there or whether you need bitters or something it, it, your basic alcohol is not high enough your modifiers are too high enough or just something there that you know whether something is tasty and you can also pinpoint what needs to be done to fix that and um, you know you know what tasty beer tastes like so you can do the same for a cocktail and the same sort of goes for explaining uh, what you perceive on your palate for whiskey same for wine and everything else so please use your, your palate always learn and uh, now we're expanding to new horizons until next time guys cheers please post in the comments below with what you think about this until next time later